Hey all you cool wildcats and kittens, I'm Mr. Urban, and you're watching Last Week of Wrestling. Wow, so many new things coming up. We've got athletics started to get rolling, we've got just had midterms and Labor Day weekend. Wherever you are, I hope you've been having a great day. But, we've got a great show for you today. We've Today we are going to introduce some of our new teachers. We love them, we know that you guys will too. We also have part two of that interview with Mr. Pickock, and we have some updates from... Athletics. Hey, I go hope you guys stay tuned. You're watching Last Week of Wrestling. Double digit yes. Hello everyone. Uh, thank you so much, Last Week at Westlane, for having me do this. Uh, I'm Mr. Garrett. I am a eighth grade INS teacher here at Westlane. This is my first year here at Westlane. Uh, before Westlane, I went to college at uh, Indiana University, you can probably tell from my Zoom background, uh, the best school in the world. Sorry, Mr. Pickock. Uh. Hi, Wesley Middle School. My name is Mrs. McCoy, and I am the new instructional coach. So I work with all grade levels and all content areas. For college, I went to Indiana University with a business degree, and then I went back to school to be a teacher at the University of Indianapolis, and then I went back to school again to get my administration license from Butler University. Hi, I'm Shane Gerton. I go by Gert. Um, I'm here to answer a few questions. Uh, where did I go to college? I went to Butler University right here in Indianapolis. Uh, majored in psychology and uh, went back again to get my special ed teaching license because Hi everybody, this is Mr. Newrider, and I'm here to answer some questions for you for this episode of Last Week at West Lane. So the first question was, where did you go to college? I went to Purdue for a while, and then I went to IUPUI for a while. So my degree from IUPUI is actually from IU, so I uh, am proud to be part of the IU and the Purdue family. Let's see, what inspired me to be a teacher? I think uh, when I was younger, all I really knew was that I wanted to make a difference in the world, and I felt like teaching was a great place for me to do that. So that's kind of what led for me to be a teacher. What inspired me to be a teacher was being out in the business world. Adults can be grumpy, adults are competitive, um, and I really missed the energy and enthusiasm that students have and that teachers have. Uh, that's why I went into teaching. I worked at a uh school for children with learning disabilities and uh, one day they asked me if I could thought I could teach some algebra to a kid that was behind and I did and I found out I was pretty good at teaching and so I went back to Butler and got my teaching license. What inspired me to be a teacher was the next question. Um, I would say my sixth grade uh, social studies teacher was a huge influence as well as my high school uh, US history teacher but my mother was a teacher, and so my whole life, uh, one of my favorite things to do was to play school as I was a kid. So it's always just kind of been a part of who I am. So one thing uh, I want all Westlands to know is that I am a former Westland Wildcat myself. Uh, so I'm back where kind of where things started for me. I think here at Westland is where I first realized I wanted to be a teacher. So it's great for me to be uh, back where it all began and to see some familiar faces again. One thing I would like all of West Lane to know is just how amazing you guys are. I am so lucky to be here and I think that you guys have an incredible community here that is unmatched in a lot of other schools. Um, one thing I'd want West Lane to know, um, I'm dyslexic, makes it hard for me to read, but I get by. And I know that learning can be tough sometimes, but you just got to hang in there. I ended up dealing with this and graduating ninth in my high school class. So, Next question is, what's one thing you'd like all of West Lane to know? Uh, well, one thing is, as you can see behind me in my picture here, uh, that's me driving my big red international tractor. So I grew up on a farm and I still love farming. And something else to know about me is I am a drummer and voila. That is my drum set. That's a picture I took from one of our shows recently behind my kit. And uh, I love music, I love drumming, and that's a big part of who I am. 
Okay, so what is my new classroom like? That is a great question. Um, I am, like most eighth grade teachers, I am here in the South Gym. I have my Zoom background up because it's just a really boring wall in front of me. Um, it is not too bad in the gym. Uh, we've all adjusted. It was really hot in the beginning, but now we have air conditioning. So everything is uh, not too bad here. Finally, it is really hard being away from teachers and students. I am an extrovert, so being by myself all day is really hard. I get to see students and teachers on Zoom, but I want to see you all in person. So um, I hope to meet you all soon. And uh, what's the best thing about working at West Lane so far? Um, outside of getting to talk to a lot of different students, I'd say the staff is just excellent. Um, they've been very helpful to me when I've had problems and needed help. And everybody's all more than willing to come over and lend, 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 lend an old guy a hand who's not real good with technology and everything. So that's me, Gert. I'll be seeing you around. So what else here? Um, what's the best part of Westland so far? Um, I would say the best part aside from uh, meeting all the great uh, students on uh, Zoom and my coworkers is that um, I am going to be getting a new science lab once the addition is built for the eighth grade wing upstairs. So I'm very excited for that. And I'm really excited to meet everybody um, once you are all able to join us here in person. Thanks everyone. Wow, thank you so much new teachers. We are so excited to have you here. All right, coming up next is that second part of that interview with Mr. Pickock. So stay tuned for some important updates about stuff at Westland and coming back to school. Cheers. If there was like a fire drill or something during hybrid school, how would we how would we exit the building while being six feet away? Oh, that is a great question. So uh, the CDC guidelines for schools is anywhere from three to six feet. Uh, we would just like, we're gonna have to practice those, those pieces. Um, being three to six feet away from each other is going to be difficult because in all schools, really, there's a closeness and there's a connectedness. And, and I've always said this too, middle school uh, students have a, um, an odd body sense of where everybody is in relative, relative, relativity around them. And so we're just gonna have to practice. We're gonna have to practice like having your hand out front and to the side and making sure people are staying away from you uh, by three to six feet. To do a fire drill would be like we do all the time. We'd have to be in lines. We'd have to be distanced out. And then we would be able to do the drills. And that really, like, like Kenneth, that's a great question because we're really looking at that in every place. How do we do that at lunch? How do we do that in the classrooms? How do we do that in PE? How do we do that in band? And so right now we are kind of finalizing our plans to be back in person and how we're going to help distance that. Again, like the earlier question was, we don't know when, but we do know that when students do come back, we're going to need to have a very safe plan in place for them to be able to distance themselves three to six feet like the CDC says, making sure we're wearing a mask, making sure we're all facing the same way. But I think that's gonna be the key when we come back is like teaching the students how to be distance and then making sure that we uh, keep that distance apart. But that was an excellent question. Um, okay, how will bus rides be affected by, the, um, by COVID? We know this and we've already kind of put this in our plan and, and you guys can kind of like like this is a promise, we're gonna have bus rider, bus drivers place you all in assigned seats. And we're gonna have a very, co like we want sixth graders sitting in front, seventh graders sitting in the middle, eighth graders sitting in the back. And then we're gonna have like, when we get here at school, we're gonna have a specific place for you to park. Cause you know, usually it's first come first serve, but there's gonna be a, a specific place for you to park. Then you're gonna go into a specific door and we're gonna say breakfast people are gonna have a little card, come in and get breakfast and eat breakfast in the cafeteria. Um, I think you're going to see a little less choice probably in breakfast and lunch uh, because we don't want to make sure that you guys are just like getting in and out. And so that's kind of what we're doing. Um, but buses will be different because again, you will be sitting uh, again, if we go a hybrid model, you'll have a fewer kids on that bus. And so you'll have like, uh, again, so assigned seats, you'll be getting off at certain times. You'll have a time to get off the bus. Uh, when you get in the building, I'm going to tell you what you guys, I don't think, are anywhere ready for what's going to look like in the building. It looks completely different. Like there is no more seventh and eighth grade hallway right now. 
Uh, there is a temporary classroom. You won't even recognize the North gym looks like a little city with all the classrooms that, that, that are in there. And then our new upfront cafetorium that you probably have driven by, it has all the classrooms in there too for seventh grade. So the only, and then you won't even recognize my, my office. It looks like the whole office area looks completely different. By the time you get there too, our entryway will be done. It'll look completely different. So we're going to really work through this as a school year. I'm going to say from bus to building back to bus, we're going to look so different. And, and even in second semester, we're going to look different because we're going to have seventh and eighth grade open up our new seventh and eighth grade upstairs. So it's going to look completely different, but yes, bus ride the, to back to your original question, they're much more assigned seat wise and much more following directions of the driver about where to sit and when to get off. All right, everybody. I want to thank you last week at West Lane. Those were some real, actually, those were really good questions, period. I mean, I've got like, those were solid questions and keep them coming. I'll come on every week if you want me to, or every other week. Uh, so I can keep becoming a, a, a vast YouTube sensation. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I don't know how that changes your life, but I think uh, I'm willing to learn what a YouTube sensation can be. Wow. Thank you, Mr. Pickcock and all of those interview questions. They were awesome. Cool. Um, so coming up is athletic updates. Uh, we have some highlights from performances throughout last week and also an interview with Coach Case. All right, Coach Keith, are you confident in this football team? I'm very confident in this football team. Are you ready for Thursday? I am, we, are, we are ready for Thursday. I believe we have prepared enough through conditioning and game planning. What's, what's something that you think that, that you could do to help us make be a better team? I would say um, an area I could always grow in is communication, being able to get the game plan across in a, in a very concise and understanding manner to the kids so that they are able to go out and execute, but not just execute, but build, feel confident when executing. What's your plan on the, on the bus? The bus, the, the plan for the bus is we are going to either ask parents if they would like to uh, drop their kids off. However, we're gonna have, we're gonna order two buses for social distancing. If I had to prefer, uh, had a preference, I would say have everybody ride the bus because of the type of coach that I am, I would like to have the whole team together so that we can all get on the, get on the same page and in the same mindset. All right, thanks. Wow, go Wildcats. Let's go. Last but not least, we're introducing some of the members of Last Week of Westland. You'll see them on the show, you'll see them hosting, and you, and you will see them creating awesome segments. So that's it for today. Hope you guys have a great day. Stay possum. You've been watching Last Week of Wesley.
back, counting double-digit thousands. Back.